hold the second stage. Those have started opening on the transporter erector, and strong backward track has begun. At T minus five minutes, Falcon 9 went on internal power. That means it's running on its batteries and no longer through the power source of the ground through the TE. Now you're going to hear a call of Falcon 9 going into startup at T minus one minute. That's the point at which the operators will hand over control of Falcon 9 to the flight computer. Now we're hearing that Falcon 9 is ready for launch. The payload is go, weather is go, and the range is go at this time. So let's listen into those last couple of minutes of terminal count. Stage one lock secured. Stage two return manifold secured. Short memory chart is complete. Rock, LC on countdown one, verify range is green. This is the rock, range is green. Copy. Stage two locks closed out. Falcon 9 is on internal power. M1D fuel bleed complete. Vehicles in self line. Stage one and stage two cars are going to FTS, please announce AFTS is ready for launch. AFTS is ready for launch. BC, verify Falcon 9's in startup. Falcon 9's in startup. Stage 1, LD, stage 2, go, go for launch. LD, go for launch. T minus 30. configured for flight. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put down the top of the hand. Drop AVIRC and GNC, proceed to proceed to 3.170 for post launch flight operations. Stay on the pulse, it's not on. GC, please move to post launch pad operations and secure the pad on head net 8. Falcon 9 has lifted off from the Space Launch Complex 4 pad with the Formosat 5 spacecraft attached. In about 18 seconds, we're going to hit max Q, which is maximum dynamic aerodynamic pressure. That is the point at which the aerodynamic pressures on the vehicle are the highest in a second. In about a minute, we're going to have three major events coming up in rapid succession. 
main engine cutoff. That is where all nine engines on the first stage are going to shut down. Up next will be stage separation. That's the point at which stage one will separate from stage two. Stage one will fly down to the drone ship. Stage two will continue on to space. And from there, immediately after, we're gonna see second engine start. That is gonna be the ignition of the Merlin vacuum engine, which is the upper stage engine on stage two. Impact engine chill has begun. It's looking really good. of the second stage engine. The grid fins to your left have just deployed. That's stage one on your left, stage two on your right. Now in about five minutes, the first stage's entry burn is going to begin. That is where all, not, well sorry, that's where three of the Falcon 9 engines are going to reignite and slow down the first stage as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. If we don't slow down, we'll burn up on re-entry, so we have to slow the vehicle down. That's going to be about a 39 second burn. We're hearing that stage two is nominal. Everything is looking good. The trajectory is looking good. Prop is nominal. So while stage one's entry burn is going to be burning, we're going to see the stage two main engine, the Merlin vacuum engine is going to shut off. So that's all going to be happening at the same time and you'll hopefully be able to see it on both screens. Now after, re after the entry burn, there's going to be about a 50 second period where there are no engines burning and at which point after that concludes, the stage one landing burn is going to begin. That is where the center engine, E9, for Falcon 9's uh, first stage is going to reignite, and that is gonna slow the vehicle down to zero velocity and hopefully put it in a position to land right up on Just Read the Instructions, our West Coast drone ship. Now, for a successful here, this will be the 15th successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage. back continues to be performing very well. Everything is nominal on stage two.
we're just under about two minutes before that entry burn is going to begin on stage one. And again, during that entry burn, stage two's Merlin vacuum engine will shut down. And as we mentioned earlier, this is a really short webcast. This is a short flight. We're not going to have an extended duration coast. Only two minutes after SECO, after that uh, Merlin engine, that vacuum engine on stage two shuts down, only two minutes afterwards, we're going to deploy the Formisat 5 spacecraft onto orbit. We're just under a minute away from entry burn. You can see the Earth getting closer and closer to us as Falcon 9 gets ready to come home. Stage 2, AMTS has saved. Coming up on that entry burn any minute, any second now, and the Merlin vacuum engine over to your right on stage two continues to perform beautifully. Stage one entry burn has started. That entry burn has started on stage one. It's going to last 39 seconds. And we have second engine cutoff over on stage two. And the entry burn appears to have ended on stage one. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And we're getting confirmation that we have a good orbit for stage two. This is very good news. That is the primary mission, and getting to that orbit is the whole goal of today. Coming up in just under two minutes, we should see the deployment of the Formisat 5 spacecraft into low Earth orbit. Now the landing burn should be starting in about 35 seconds or so over to your left, so let's keep an eye out for that. That burn's gonna last 33 seconds. Stage one is transonic, Church of AOS. That landing Stage burn one, has started. Burn started. You can see the drone ship in the view. Ah, and it looks like we lost the camera feed. Oh, wait. There we go. Falcon 9 has landed. Falcon 9 has landed on the construction. This is the 15th successful landing of Falcon 9. Now there's still the main mission, payload deploy, coming up any second now. That's a beautiful shot there. And with